Hi, Rick Roslin here, and today I want to teach you about something that is cool to learn but really hard for me to comprehend, and that is space, our universe, and our solar system. And there are three reasons why it's difficult for me to understand it. Number one, things are really, really old. When you look at a star twinkle that is so far away, that light may be millions of years before it gets to your eyes. Number two, things are really, really big. And number three, things are far, far away. And I try to learn about these things using different scale models, like a model like this that shows the planets and their orbits, but this is totally wrong. In fact, almost every book that you've read or picture you've seen of the solar system, the scale is wrong. I even try to use something like this, uh, for example. Here is a rug that's six feet in diameter. And if we use that as the sun, the earth would be the size of this blue marble right there. So when I look up at that sun that doesn't look very big, it is really far away. In fact, about 93 million miles from Earth. That is so far that these planes that fly overhead, going 400 miles an hour, would take 20 years to get to the sun one way. Now think about that, one way. Of course, if you travel at the speed of light, which is a lot quicker, it still takes seven minutes for that sunlight to go through this little marble to make it blue. So I try to find different ways to understand the scale of the solar system. And that is why I'm here at the Wayne Township Bus Terminal. And I'm gonna use these buses to help you understand the scale of our solar system. So here's one bus. And if we put the sun right here at the edge of that bus and the earth right here at this side, that would be a measure of how far it is from the sun to the earth. And scientists, astronomers, have a special ruler they use called a astronomical unit, or an AU. And that is an arbitrary amount that they have used to help us understand the scale of the solar system. So let's say one bus is an AU, putting Earth here. But we're the third planet from the sun. So if you go way over here, close 0 0.04, which would put it right about there, is Mercury. And 0.04, seven is Venus. So Mercury and Venus are very close to the sun. Earth is one bus length or one AU further away. But what about the rest of the planets? Let me jump on my little cart here and we'll take a tour of the solar system in Wayne Township bus scale. Okay, let's start our tour of the solar system where one bus is one AU. We have a pretty long line of buses. The first three planets, Mercury, Venus, and Earth, are at the first bus. Mars, right about here, is 1.5 AU. On to Jupiter, which is 5 AUs. Here we are at Jupiter. Doesn't seem like a long way, but it certainly is. Saturn is 9.5. Let's go on to Saturn. Which puts us right about in the middle of this guy right here. Saturn, 9.5. Uranus, 10 more buses away. Uranus, one of the gas giants. And then we have Neptune, which is another 10 AUs. Here we are at the gas giant Neptune, 30 AUs, and all that's left is Pluto. I hope we have enough buses, about 10 more buses. a long way from the sun. In fact, the sun would be just a small little dot way down there. Well, I hope this helps you understand the scale of our solar system using one bus as one AU, astronomical unit. Our solar system is huge and it's just one small part of the entire universe. 
In fact, it's so big that in 1977, Voyager 2 was launched to do a grand tour of the planets. And it just now left our solar system about a year ago. It's taken all that time just to get on beyond the last planet. And it's still being affected by the gravity of our sun so far away. Hey, speaking of the sun, I'm gonna drive back to the sun and try to get a little bit closer back to Earth where I belong. See ya.